it's Anna and I'm literally moving to Barcelona um, at 6 a.m. I have to wake up uh, at 7 a.m. I have the bus from Poland to the airport in Germany then I will be waiting for like two three hours the flight is at 1 p.m. and um, yeah, I will be there around like I don't know six uh, or maybe three and then I will get to the apartment around five and I know everything, including the price of the ticket, which ticket to buy on the train for the public transport. So I'm really excited about this uh, because my landlord told me everything is really nice. I gave myself two hours to pack because I had a crazy day and I still actually need to finish assignment for my English certificate. So this is just a crazy day and I'm kind of nervous. And uh, from the morning I was uploading one video for you guys and editing next one. So, and I'm feeling now this while packing. Uh, so yeah, it was just like I focused on important things that are meaningful to me long term. And uh, now I'm focusing on the urgent. So obviously packing uh, when you move tomorrow and uh, doing assignment in English, uh, this is also important. Uh, but urgent and uh, you know, that this won't be that important in like, I don't know, three years, let's say. So yeah, um, I'm like really excited about it. Now, literally, I have nothing in my room, so uh, I didn't start packing at all. <laughs> uh, so I'll just bring my big suitcase and I will, sorry, I'm shaking because, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll bring my huge suitcase and a smaller suitcase and I will also have a handbag. So on Ryanair, for example, that I'm taking, I paid 17 euros for my flight, by the way, uh, and 25 uh, for uh, the suitcase. So basically, you are allowed on any flight, even if it's like one pound, <laughs> to uh, take a small suitcase that will fit in the uh, luggage um, area uh, over your head of the passengers, and then you are allowed to have a bag. This shouldn't be too big, but mine is big and I usually don't have problems with it. I, you can pay for extra bags that are either 15 kilograms or 20 kilograms and I purchased one that is 20 kilograms because I remember at the time I was moving to London I realized like, oh my god, my suitcase is 30 kilograms or 35 and I had to unpack it uh, because it was like too much and then my parents still sent me a parcel so now I'm trying to be smarter about packing and let's see if it's possible. <laughs> I definitely have a lot of items that w I wasn't using, so maybe I'm better judge now. Let's see. <laughs> let's bring the suitcase first. <laughs> okay, so these are my suitcases. They are totally empty and now it's 2.30 uh, p.m. And I'm planning to spend maximum two hours on packing. This is just a quick view from Poland, uh, so this is the weather now and hopefully uh, we will be on a beach uh, now. <laughs> okay, so my suitcases are already in the room and they are empty. Uh, but actually, uh, what you uh, want to do now, you have to think in categories. So basically what I need to do is electronic uh, devices. I have quite a few. Uh, also, I should take a monitor with me, which is big. And uh, I don't know um, if I have an also tripod is quite massive as well. So I need to pack all this in electronics uh, with, you know, all the iPads, all the chargers and stuff, a laptop. Now then I have clothes, so obviously depending on the weather I will be traveling to London. I need some clothes that are colder, for colder weather, but uh, actually mostly obviously Barcelona is quite warm, which is first time for me living in a warm country. And then cosmetics and all the beauty, all the like everyday like shampoos and stuff. Um, and, and the last thing is like all other things necessary basically like a towel like you know covers for the bed for the duvet um, things that you don't want to take with you but you have to <laughs> I just ask my landlord whether I need kitchen supplies as well this is also what you should do 
ask the very mean to take pans and pots with you because it's like you know huge uh, amount of space and maybe you can avoid it or you can buy it when you're there but what i did in 20 minutes so now it's a 3 pm basically you want to put on the bottom of the suitcase you want to put towels and covers for the duvet and the pillows so i take uh, two big towels, one small towel, uh, two covers for the duvet and two covers for the pillows. So even if I have visitors, one duvet has a cover with you know, pink roses. So I take only one cover for the pillow with pink roses. And when my friend comes, I give them, you know, a pillow from another duvet. So I don't take like too much. So be careful to take as little as possible. and. Usually you won't have more than uh, one visitor or if you do, then um, like they should just bring their stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so I have a, a towel to the beach, towel to just wash and um, one small towel for hands. On top of that I put like a plastic bag to protect them and I put uh, shoes. So I divide shoes um, according to weight. This is how it looks like now. So basically I have this small suitcase that um, is going with me on the plane and this goes to the people in the check-in. And this is my bag that I didn't show you guys. It's quite big. I don't know if you can say, but it's actually size of the suitcase. <laughs> yeah, so basically this is what goes on the weight and I have 20 kilograms for this. And this they don't wait so I try to put uh, heavier things in this small suitcase because it doesn't cost me weight uh, I hope um, <laughs> they won't notice <laughs> what I'm doing so basically heavy shoes like shoes with uh, for winter or when I travel to London I put the here and light shoes like sandals and flippers I put in this suitcase uh, just over the duvets and um, towels and look they are like you see they are here on the sides and then I put other heavy stuff like a pan and pot and uh, hand weights and um, monitor and also the tripod so this is like the heaviest things and now I know um, I have to obviously pack cosmetics and clothes laptop I pad and phone as well as uh, some liquids that are small you want to put uh, in your handbag in an uh, area that you want it very easily to be reached because you need to take it out obviously on the security check and you need to put them in separate little bag and uh, you don't want to put any liquids in a small uh, suitcase some liquids can go to the big suitcase uh, put your glasses and cups on the top so like on the side so then you can put it on the top when you finish packing obviously so they don't break <laughs> I just put my big suitcase on the um, scale and it shows 18 kilograms uh, so I have like two more and I didn't put any clothes yet so I will put all the clothes and then I will see what uh, is the result afterwards and as well as cosmetics um, also I can put some stuff in the handbag and uh, we will see then <laughs> it's a bit you know uh, frustrating normally I would be a bit overwhelmed but I'm trying not to be and you guys shouldn't either because there's always quick solutions to all problems and yeah just try just do wait after you put all the heaviest most annoying stuff that you can't really choose to take or not to take and then start putting you know all the other stuff we usually put more than we actually um, are using and wearing so this is why I like to uh, leave it for the last no hats on, no hats be you want to plan in a smart way what you will wear to on the plane so basically you want to wear a jacket and um, like a bigger and a coat if you have to carry these 
and uh, shoes that you know could wait some a bit. Uh, basically, you now I packed uh, only some part of my clothes. This is like most of them, but not all. And I have to admit, uh, the suitcase is now four kilograms overweight. So I will be uh, putting some of the clothes in the small, smaller uh, suitcase. And also I've learned that I don't need posts because my landlord would, will provide them for me. If uh, your suitcase can't even, you know, like you can't even close it, <laughs> then just like change location of it, like rotate it and the things will fall into uh, cor correct places uh, so you can uh, close it more easily. Also what you want to remember is that especially if you're a girl you need bags so you put um, your underwear and your socks in the bags. Yeah, so definitely they to take place. So we want to place them in the bigger suitcase with underwear and socks inside. Yeah, and now it's a free priority so it's almost one hour after I started packing. It's quarter past uh, four so it's not two hours yet but it's like 20 minutes left. Uh, so 25. <laughs> so basically what I did is I finished packing the big suitcase so it weighs exactly 19 kilograms and eight. Uh, so it's like a little bit left uh, for them to have a different scale. My suitcase is totally packed, uh, my hand luggage and my handbag as well. And I didn't put any cosmetics yet. And uh, also laptop and books, but I don't even know like how can I even take books. <laughs> I'll just put them in a handbag. I know what you're going through. It's crazy. It's just one day and it's done. So yeah, I'll just see what I can do in 20 minutes that are left. And I will just chill a bit, eat something nice and uh, do my English assignment and maybe I will do a few minor changes in the morning. This is not what I was hoping for. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. So now it's 5 p.m. I've been doing this for already 2 hours and 20 minutes and I'm not done. <laughs> And uh, you know, it's uh, now it's the first time that I have actually a lot of weight that's related to work, which is tripod, piles of wedding magazines that I'm writing reviews about, and monitor. So it's just like in books, it's like really, really difficult to pack all this and the things that are just necessary to life. <laughs> The big suitcase is now 6 kilograms overweight. The small suitcase doesn't even close. The hand uh, luggage is basically packed fully and I still need to put their laptop, iPad and some magazines. It's nice with my parents in Poland, although there is no beach and there is snow. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Definitely it was a good idea to leave books until the end because um, they are like the heavy, you know, heavy and I can compromise on some of them but not too many and um, yeah, so now I'll, I think what I have to do is take out everything and question each single thing and ask a question. Is it necessary to my life? <laughs> and if answer is no then it has to go. So I will actually take everything out of all suitcases and I'll question each item that's in these um, bag luggages. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing now. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> because adventures aren't as fun as everybody brings them to be. <laughs> and I actually noticed this also when traveling. Like sometimes you're traveling at 5 a.m., you have to catch the night bus. It's like so many things that are unexpected and people just make it you know like oh you're so lucky you have beautiful pictures like everything you know it's like 80% it's just uh and 20% is like the beautiful things that people see they don't realize that there's not such a beautiful side of it <laughs> as well listen I do understand <laughs> 
that it uh, is like huge. Um, I guess it never gets easy because packing. <laughs> because actually what happened to me, um, I will show you a picture now how many things I had to take out. And I thought I had a plan, I thought I had a structure, good plan, but actually uh, pff, it was just a mess a bit. But I'm packed now and I'm just working on my assignment in English and um, I have, you know, my suitcase is a good weight, my other suitcase is not totally overpacked and my handbag uh, is a bit, you know, packed. It's, it, it can be like okay um, I mean that I had to take out my monitor and a huge pile of things and um, yeah just so you know obviously I won't take you know the second suitcase as 20 kilograms because I could but like I will just drop on my face <laughs> so I will be just using an app that connects um, iPad with the computer to uh, you know play to uh, as a second monitor I will be just working on like this and uh, next time I come to my parents house I will take the monitor and it's not such a big you know deal uh, the most busy season for weddings is from April March maybe until September so I still have like a few months I probably will come home uh, during this period of time um, yeah, so basically it was, you know, not easy and you can't predict everything like I tried to say uh, in other videos as well. You can't predict everything and definitely I thought, you know, maybe it will take like two hours and uh, it took six hours, 20 minutes. So I'm just being real with you. You can't plan everything, you can hope for the best and you can work your best. I did take, you know, like many breaks, to be honest, uh, just like crying, <laughs> no, like, you know, like freaking out a bit, but um, it is, you know, the day before is always emotional and it just the nature, maybe the human nature and also when your parents are still freaking out. <laughs> Although it's third time of going somewhere, they are still freaking out. So <laughs> basically, um, yeah, it's just like you, you just have to do it. You just have to go through this day. But the main point of when why I'm even filming this is that, that this day will end. So really, if you watch it maybe you know a few weeks or a month before you move, uh, remember to save this video and watch it on the day when you actually are packing and maybe you move because you will remember like you know you actually want to have a person like this saying it will be okay <laughs> calling my friends and stuff just like put yourself together it will be okay you're always okay so yeah i'm telling you now you will be okay because you're always okay everything you went through thinking about the worst experiences in your life you had you went through them so yeah, just like you have to be positive, uh, you will get through this day, it is just a day, it has 24 hours, it will end, some days are so sweet, we want them to last forever, and some days are a bit freaky and we want them to end as soon as possible, but uh, obviously accomplishing the task. So uh, yeah, just I wish you really good luck and just like keep breathing and uh, just think about you know, the um, day after you moved in, you're getting to know the neighborhood, and like, you know, maybe tomorrow it will be still freaky, but the day after tomorrow I'm planning to go to the beach and really enjoy, and oh uh, yeah, so hopefully you'll go with me.